Hi, my name is Teresa and you're watching Between Two Wheels. Okay, so I am going to talk a little bit today about the stress that I talked about yesterday. But I am going to tell you um, not really so much like in the mind how to deal with stress or how I deal with stress, but I'm just going to talk about what my body goes through, my MS body goes through when um, I surround myself with stress. So here we go. I'm going to get my mouse like this and here we go. First, let's check in with my hands today. You know, I had a great, I had a great uh, morning routine with my, with my, I did not take a shower this morning but I was able to wash my face, brush my teeth, um, do my hair, um, Q-tips, hold Q-tips in my hands uh, to do my ears, floss my teeth, um, all in one, uh, without taking a, a rest or anything. So that's good. My transfer from bed was good. Um, my transfer um, might be TMI, but on and off the toilet this morning a bunch of times was good because I, I juice in the morning. I detoxify my body and realkalize with, with juice every morning and to keep just everything going and keep my body healthy. So yeah, it's been really good. And um, like I say, a lot of times I monitor my MS or gauge my MS on that morning routine. So um, yeah, and it's kind of this afternoon here and I'm feeling pretty darn good. My body's feeling good. Yeah. Um, so it, it just is what it is. So hands, hands. Um, I'm going to close them, not open them again. There we go. So that's good. Yeah. So just, okay. Stress on my body. You know, the, like I've said before, the MS is central nervous system. So let, you know, let's say these are the nerves and then the stuff that surrounds them, like insulation type of thing, like this, is called myelin. It's like an insulation. And the autoimmune system, like my body looks at that insulation as like a yucky, not good thing, and it wants to attack that. So it attacks it and it and it kind of uh breaks it down. So it exposes some of the nerves, the nerves that the nerve pathways throughout the whole body. And um so I kind of explain it as sometimes my nerves are like a downed wire that are just jumpy and all over the place. Um, and when I am under any kind of stress at all, or, you know, um, those nerves just, you know, because all, I mean, ultimately, you know, when we're in fearful situations or we're scared or anything, that's all our nerves reacting. And then, it reacts to the muscles and just, you know, that whole thing. So and again, I'm just spouting off what I know and it's just how I, I keep it all simple and, and, um, yeah. So, okay, here's one, I'm just going to give one example. Um, the other day I was asked to be part of a little video, um, to promote, some stuff over at the rehab center. Um, and I'm all one for promoting. And like I've said, and people know me, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, my, my personality is one that I like to do stuff like that. It doesn't bother me. I'm not shy. And, um, so I was all like, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Well, I, um, and it was for a, um, a bicycle that, I'll show you because I'm going to show you all that. It's a bicycle that um, I get into and it uh, self-propels. So it 
you know, gives my legs some a good workout, stimulation, cardio workout. So I got into that bike and it started self-propelling. And, um, you know, again, things, social situations usually do not bother me at all. And I instantly, like my, my muscles just started to tense and the machine almost like went wacky. It went haywire. And, you know, there, that just shows me, um, the power of like how the nerves, you know, ultimately like affect the rest of my body. And I can, I got some muscle spasms and I like flipped out, man. And I mean, mentally I was just like, yay, let's do this. I'm, I'm all for it. And, um, my nerves just took over and I had to stop, regroup, kind of come down a little, relax, let my nerve, you know, like I said, I've had this for so long. I kind of know the process of, of relaxing my body, uh, you know, getting in that happy place. But that's just one example of how like this disease just kind of does its own thing at times. And I do promote, I am a promoter of the power of the mind and how you can, uh, you know, help with nerves. But there are some situations that, you know, us MSers, we just are that stress and, or if somebody comes up um, and gives me a pat, like on the, on the back or the arm or something, you know, that's, that pat is the equivalent to like, somebody screaming at my nerves, you know, of like just this bellowing of like, whoa, 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 my nerves just go nuts. Um, so when I am in like stressful situations, um, I, th I just have to really just be in tune with my body all the time. And then that ultimately increases fatigue and then some anxiety. And so I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about, and, and everybody's different with this, you know, every single person with MS is different with this. So that's why I'm always really careful on the situations that I put myself in, or, you know, if I do have a little bit of social anxiety at times, because, you know, I mean, for the most part, I don't, but there are occasions when I do. I really have to check in mentally and, and be like, okay, do I want to put myself in this position, A? And then if I am in it, you know, I just have to uh, always listen to my body. And it's just a really weird thing. And it is a day-by-day -day thing. You know, there there is no course to this. Um, and I'm sure you're seeing this. I'm probably coming off as so bipolar on here and uh, with some days okay, some days not okay. I mean, for the most part, I'm okay. It's just that, like today, I don't, I'm feeling, you know, energy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. Um, now this could, could this be kind of the, 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 the steroids coming back around and maybe kicking in? Don't know. Um, I have a week coming up where, like I said, we're going to do an MRI. We're going to do start physical therapy again, one-on-one -on -one physical therapy. I'm still going to be going to the gym and doing my regular routine, but and we're going to start some occupational therapy um, because there are some areas like with eating, you know, holding forks and forks and stuff, and um, maybe that I can pick up some some tips and tricks and things, and um, yeah, but. I just, I was thinking this morning, I thought I just want to explain a little bit about what the whole nerve thing does to me. And, um, and again, that's where I have just through tons of practice and years of this gotten really in tune with my body and my mind. So, yeah, but you know, even, wow, look at that. Check that out. You know, all the little things, like I said, it's just little things, you know, that, uh, you know, because I'm not able 
to lift my arm. Okay, here we go. Lift my arm any higher than that. This arm any higher than that. Um, that's why it's so important for stretching, exercise, uh, you know, the weights. I take my chair back and pull my arms back and just get them stretched just so they don't, you know, get in a position where, you know, in the posture and all this important stuff that, you know, I just kind of every, every, all the time I'm thinking about it, you know. And that creates, just by doing this, creates so much energy for me to do that and keep that. And I'm trying to talk at the same time. And I'm looking at myself, and I'm not looking at the camera. But, you know, just things like that. Ooh, see, that exhausts me a little bit. But it's okay. It's good. So today I'm just going to chill out and um, relax a little. It's beautiful here in... Uh, in the northeast of United States and you know that hey that's a big factor too you know I, that whole seasonal stuff I'm a summer heat humidity kind of girl a lot of people with MS can't handle the the, the heat um, I am fortunate that I love heat and I love to be out in the sun and uh, winters and cold I don't do well so I'm not outside and I, you know I'm, I'm one to promote being outside getting that fresh air you know letting that vitamin D just you know soaking up that sun so um, I guess that's about it I guess that's about it um, I'm really you know optimistic I love Mondays I love to start the week um, I love to start my routine like I said, you know, I have a couple doctor's appointments, MRI coming up, um, and but again, it's it's all gonna be good. Uh, I don't want to come off where I'm not funny because I'm funny. I feel like I'm being too serious. You know, I'm not used to talking about my stuff like this, and that's why I'm committing to this 30-day challenge and um, you know to talk about this stuff not only for me I think I really need to maybe address some of this stuff for me but anybody out there that uh, you know go, goes through this or doesn't know you know just the the, the awareness drawing awareness because you know unless you have someone in your family or circle that that has MS or that is in a wheelchair you know you don't know which I didn't know either our family didn't know and every day we learn new things and it's been you know a long time 16 years so yeah but um you know and but yeah the funny part i love i'm i love humor i love to laugh i love everything everything about you know that whole positive goofy laughter fun stuff and I'm getting emails on my age like y'all like are so concerned like not concerned but like asking about my age so <laughs> I am proud to say I'm 48 years old just turned 48 in February and to be honest mentally and physically I'm probably at the best now you know Physically, you know, I was diagnosed when I was 32, and in my 20s, you know, I was I was active. I was just all over the place, man, loving life and doing stuff. And and uh, but anyway, um, but mentally, I'm probably in the best place that I have ever been in my life, and that's through a lot of hard work. You know, I'm a self-help junkie, and um, I love you know reading and watching documentaries and lectures and anything to better my life and and um, you know always have that hunger and um, I like that I you know I love that and um, so yes I am 48 years old and I'm gosh darn proud of it I love it you know, 
it uh, it's all good. So with that said, and that's it. And just again, thank you for all the support. I am putting that Q and A thing together um, on. And um, any other questions, just send them to between two wheels gmail.com. You know, share this video on on uh, on Facebook on whatever you know all those social things that are out there. But um, yeah, so have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. Now let's see how I can do this mouse. This is going to be good. Here we go. Bye.